Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the club. It's bell time. My name is Drew Kazoo, joined at this time by Mark Green, and we are ready for the Bell Time Club Women's Championship to be defended. Triple threat action. What a contest this is going to be, too. Leading off with the woman whose music you hear right now, Isana, the suplex sweetheart. I know I'm supposed to be fair and impartial, but I'm a big fan of the suplex sweetheart, Isana. Didn't she yell at you because you got her name wrong last time? Total brain freeze, that's all it was, but she was right to do so, and I was right to listen because I don't want to get suplexed by Isana. And let's see how she fares today. Let's see if she can walk out of here with that Bell Time Club women's title. But she has some very formidable competition here tonight in the form of the Widow Belmont, the defending champion, and the third woman in this match, who I believe we are going to see in just a moment, Rosalie, the makeup queen. But this is not Isama's first shot at the Bell Time Club in the championship. We've seen her before compete for that title. All right, can stand corrected. We're going to get the champion making her entrance right now. Being led to the ring by Uncle Eddie. Yeah, I, I don't like Ed Hunt at all. But I got to tell you, this transformation of Belmont, as frightening as she has become, she is even more deadly in the ring than she was before. Absolutely, and that's why she is the Bell Time Club Women's Champion. She has gone to a deep, dark place, but it has led her to great success inside the ring. And that picture in the corner that she gained inspiration from. Oh, look at this. Look so there's a back. women's match. That's right. <laughs> Ladies Excellent and gentlemen. segue, sir. Welcome back, greatness himself, Mr. Chad Epic. And now we get the third competitor in this Oh, one. it's a triple threat. Yes, sure triple is. Threat. This would be the makeup queen, Rosalie. Always a favorite here at El Mundo. We call that a cheap pop. Well, the Bell Times Club women champion, the newly inducted all of fame member, Widow Belmont, might actually have her championship uh, in jeopardy for this match. I, well, I, I don't understand this weird relationship between the Widow Belmont and Ed Hunt. It definitely is sort of unsettling. Ed has known Widow her whole life. You know how old Ed is? Very old. He's like Mr. Burns. Challenging for the championship from Arcadia, the suplex sweetheart, Isana. Her opponent also challenging for the championship in the corner to my left from Hollywood, Florida. She is the makeup queen, Rosalie with quite the support and just up here at El Mundo. In the corner to my right, accompanied to ringside by her manager, Uncle Eddie. He represents from beyond the grave. She is the current reigning and defending Bell Time Club Women's Champion, the Widow I don't care how good you are, I don't care how technical you are, I don't care how smart you think you are. Wait, oh, I'm getting cut off by Uncle Lady. You see, Widow Belmont lost her husband, I lost my family, and we're together. But you guys should be able to relate to that because the Red Sox lose everything too. And also, we, we hired a guy last year, one of your boys, Cora. We came in, we won. But just like you guys, he peaks early and then fades away to nothing. But one thing we are not going to do is win a championship and then give it right up. We win a championship and we keep it because we ain't the Red Sox. Wow. 
They don't like that here. Oh, we are ready to go here. I'll tell you what, all joking aside, all comments by Ed Hunt aside, this is going to be a tremendous contest. Well, like I was saying, it's matter how fast, smart, intelligent you think you are. You get in the ring with someone like Riddle Belmont. <laughs> I'll tell you this firsthand experience. You have no idea what to expect. She's been doing this for longer than half the people who have been alive in this arena. She's one of the most talented people ever to step foot in that ring. Notice I didn't say man or woman, most talented wrestler. That falls into the category of everybody's got a plan so you get punched in the mouth. Have you ever been punched in the mouth by Widow Belmont? No. I have for some reason I won't discuss because of my lawyers. I wouldn't mind seeing her do it right now. Rosalie now. Well, anyway, cool. both of you gentlemen are right. That's why she is a New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer as we see the makeup queen, Rosalie, in there. And since I saw it to the other side, now she slumps down. What's Rosalie going to oh. do? Wait Rosalie a minute. Rosalie going to use what God gave her. Boom! Oh. Boom! Oh. Chat, here. sit down. I am sitting, but trust me, it's a standing ovation. <laughs> yeah, you, she won't do that move to you. Relax. Rosaline, the makeup queen, bringing it to your belt time. Club Women's Champion. And Uncle Eddie. Oh! oh see, he's an advantage Eli. to have on the outside. I've known Uncle Eddie for a very long time. He's a very intelligent man. He knows what to, obviously, he knows how to bring championships. Not one of those things you just said was true. Not one of those things. Not one of those things. Not one of them. You don't like Uncle Eddie, do you? No, I do not. Uncle Eddie, he's talking smack about you. The suplex sweetheart, Isana, bringing it to the makeup queen. Irish whip, ducks the line. Hip toss, and Isana in trouble. That back is taking a lot of punishment early on here. Arm drag takeover now. Right into the cover. Watch out. Belmont got to break it up. This is a one fall match for the Women's Championship. So. One fall and the champion's advantage goes out the window. There's yep. no disqualification. Right. That's right. And just like in any triple threat match, Belmont better watch out because she doesn't matter if she's pinned or not. Isana. Boom. Oh. Cuts her off. Oh. Rosaline almost falls out. I think Isana has a little bit of payback in her mind. And Isana just stomping away. And Belmont says she wants a turn. Well, now Belmont's going to get a turn. Oh, oh right across the throat there, looks like. Put a little bit of spit on that right there. Into the cover. I, oh. No, 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 no. That was the most uh, nurturing way to break up a pinfall I've ever seen. Broke it up nonetheless. Snapmare center of the ring, Isana off the rope. Basement drop kick. Right on the money. Rosalie in trouble here. Oh, leg drop right across the throat. Into the cover, to it. If this was 1985, it would be over. No one kicks out of the leg drop. Isana said it was my idea to team up, but now you're gonna win the match. But. Well, there was a little bit of alliance, but not so much. Championship gold, platinum is on the line. Oh. Triple threat, Alliance has only last for so long. Again, who's gonna seize the opportunity for themselves? Now, if you're gonna bring a fight to Isana, you better bring it. I see Isana in the ring with someone like Lufisto, who beat the holy hell out of her, and she's still walking, so that said something right there. Absolutely. And she would like nothing more than to leave Fenway Park with that Bell Time Club women's title. I'll tell you what, we're seeing all three women now firmly involved in this match. Unlike earlier where we saw Picture Perfect Sierra spend a lot of time on the outside and wait for an opening. In this match, they're One, all right on top two. of everything. Two! I believe I'm actually Picture Perfect Sierra has joined us from inside here, scouting competition clearly. You could obviously be a, uh, you know, let's get this crappy hat out of here. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing with that hat? I don't know, it's crap, it hurts my head. <laughs> Oh, oh watch out, there's the suplex! Well, that was an exploder. 
Rosalie exploded all over the middle. Belmont. Oh! Mindbuster. Rosalie with the power. Wasn't pretty, but it was effective. And all three women down in the ring. Referee Juna executing her count. You do not give the Zebra's name. How many times am I going to tell you that? I do. No, you don't. I do. Don't do it. I do. I will come over there. And come over here. Chad Epic, here. not a fan of the referees. No, they're Zebras and they're horrible people. So are you. Yeah, but I get paid to be a horrible person. Zebras are just bad at life in general. Wait, why does everybody keep coming here saying they're getting paid today? Because unlike you, I ain't Zengi. So Rosalie ducks the clothesline, hits one on Isana. Now one on Belmont. And Isana again. Rosalie on fire right now. Hooks her up. Sidewalk slam. I don't know if she got all of it, but she got enough. Sometimes all you need is that three, so it all that matters. Rolls we got one, the cover. two, no. Belmont breaks it up. Like we were saying before, Belmont doesn't have to be anywhere near the ring to Jawbreaker. lose the title. Jawbreaker, and now walks right into Isana. Oh, that's the booby trap. The what? The booby trap. Okay. Is that what that's called? That is exactly what that's called. Okay. Well, Rosalie's going to hit it with that backside again. Boom. That is their rear view. We got a pin. Cover. Two. two. And broken oh. up again by Isana. Isana is not letting anyone walk out of here as champion. No, she's made great efforts to break up every pinfall tonight. Clearly focused on walking away with that title. Yeah, I believe Belmont thought she was going to help her retain the title, but that plan has clearly gone out the window. See Uncle Eddie now whispering uh, words of advice to the widow. I never trust Uncle Eddie when he's around. Words of wisdom whispered to me. Oh, oh German. German. Into the cover, two. No, oh, broken up by Belmont. Not even a two count, and Isana looks enraged. She has Be Widow Belmont in the corner. And oh, wait now, oh, Uncle Eddie making it. his way up to the, uh, nope. Oh, Belmont cuts her off now, that double axe handle in the back. And now she's gonna throw her out to the floor. All Isana right. all the way out, now it's one on one between Belmont and Rosalie. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, Rosalie Connor, fireman's carry position. Has her hooked up. Well, Uncle Eddie's calling time. Samoan drop into the cover. One, two. No. There's no timeouts in wrestling. Eddie Ro broke it up. Rosalie should not be wasting her time with Uncle Eddie right now. Oh, she just punched Uncle Eddie in the face. Good. Thank God somebody finally punched that guy. It's messed up. But watch out, nice right guy. behind her, the Widow Belmont. Kick to the midsection. CDT! That might do it. No, it doesn't One, matter. two, three, that is it. And the Widow Belmont retains her Bell Time Club Women's Championship. I'll tell you what, as accomplished a performer as Belmont is, to have Uncle Eddie by her side makes her even more difficult. I don't know who can beat her for that Bell Time Club Women's Championship. Now there are so many contenders. Of course, Alicia Edwards still has her eye on the prize, but... Thank you, Gina. Oh, I guess this is where you say we'll be back later, right? Well, hard fought battle by all three women. Yeah, and my name's Drew Kazoo for Chad Epic and Mark Green. Everybody watching at home on YouTube, thank you very much, and we will see you next time. The kazoo is such a horrible instrument, by the way.